Hey guys, welcome back. In this in this particular video, we're going to be talking about nested instances and surfacing properties of nested instances above or at the top level component level. And we're going to be talking about a way where you can actually choose the specific instances that you want displayed when you're swapping instances. Okay, so I did not create anything because I wanted to create it in front of you. So let's just go ahead and actually create a small card. So imagine we have a card like this. I'm going to enter a title and let's just manually go ahead and actually enter a title here. So this is going to be our title. Then I'm going to enter a sub title and let's just go ahead and actually make this regular and make the font size maybe 14. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and convert this into an auto layout. I'm going to give 16 padding all around and I'm going to give a 16 padding in the middle as well. Okay, so this is our subtitle. This is the title. Maybe in this card we actually want an image as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to draw a simple rectangle. So this is going to be the image. I'm going to fill the container. Again, I'm doing this quickly because I'm not really showing you how to create a card. We can do that in a separate video. What I want to show you is the actual thing that I was talking about, which is these new updates to the component properties. So now I'm going to go to Unsplash. We're going to go ahead and actually just choose a default image here. Let's probably just pick maybe this one or let's just go ahead and actually pick this one. OK, so here we have it. And then maybe maybe we just want a button here as well. So let's just go ahead and actually add a button. So I'm going to add a button here. And I'm going to say this is going to be whatever, download maybe something. And we are going to have another icon on the right as well. I'm going to go to uh, Chevron right, search for, a, for an icon Chevron right. And I'm just going to place it here on the right. OK, so now that we have that, I'm just going to move this, convert this into an auto layout and move this sideways and then fill the container. I also want this icon to be slightly smaller, not 24 pixels, maybe something like this. And this is pretty much the card that I actually wanted. So let's just go ahead and convert that into a component quickly. Now here, as you can see, this is the instance. Obviously we don't have any properties defined right now. So let's just go ahead and do that. First of all, we need to go ahead and actually fill this to a container, press enter to select both of the children and fill this these to a container as well. So this is going to be really beautiful image. And let's just go ahead and actually use lorem ipsum to add multiple lines of text here. <clears throat> so there you go. This is our card. Maybe that's like a lot of text. And then we have this footer. So now what we want to do is I want to, let's say, make sure that the footer and the image itself are um, optional. So I'm going to go ahead, create a component property by going to the layer on the right, as you can see, and make this image optional. So I'm going to say the image by default is going to be true, but it is going to be an, op an optional thing. Similarly, I'm going to go to the layers of the card footer that I just created. And I'm going to say this is also going to be optional. So card footer is going to be true by default. That means it's going to be visible by default. So image, as you can see, I can hide it. I can hide the footer as well. And we can just have this. OK, that's fine. Now, in order to now, as you can see, I have a button here, right? I may want to change the button to secondary in certain cards to tertiary in some other cards, whatever it is. But I don't currently the only way for me to do that is to actually double click on or go to this particular component inside or that particular instance inside of the larger card instance. But with the new updates, I can actually surface those properties right at the top. So I can go to the properties here and I can click on nested instances. If I do that, it's going to ask me what properties do you want to expose? Which component properties do you want to expose at the top? I'm going to say I want to expose the button properties and that's fine. Now, as you can see, we have the properties here and we have the nested instances here. Now, if I click on it, as you can see, I have the overall card properties and then I have the instance button properties. So I can directly change the states or the buttons directly from the top of the card. I don't manually have to click to make sure that I have the button selected, which can be cumbersome if you have a really complex component. So that's one really huge thing. 
The other thing I want to talk about is we have tons of icons. So I'm using these icons from Hero Icons. And as you can see, Hero Icons has tons of icons. So instead of actually having all of the icons in this list, I only want certain icons to be visible if a person tries to swap the icons on this card. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to say this is going to be our icon right. And I only want certain preferred values here. So I'm going to click on plus and I'm going to say maybe I want these arrows and maybe I want these four arrows and maybe I just want maybe chevrons. So I'm going to say I want these four chevrons and that's it. That Those are the only properties that I want visible by default. So I'm going to create the property and now if I go here, as you can see, I have the icon right here and I have the selected preferred properties that I previously selected here. So I can just go and quickly change these uh, properties to anything that I want instead of actually looking at 200, 500, 600 different icons that were there. However, I can still go ahead and actually choose the different libraries that are available here. I can go to the local components. I can still do that, but it's going to show me the preferred icons by default. So that's again really valuable as well. So this again is pretty much what you have with the new updates that Figma has introduced with the properties, uh, component properties. And I think these are extremely useful, especially in the case of really complex components which have multiple instances of different components and especially for icons because you usually have tons of icons and you really want to be specific about the preferred values that are available in a particular context. So that's going to be pretty much it. Again, one thing I'll just point out, if this particular feature is not available for you, you can just go on the main component. You can go onto this onto these component configuration controls and then you can just enable this try new authoring features is once you enable this these all of these features are pretty much going to be available for you and it's going to be pretty awesome so that's pretty much it again one other thing that i do, do want to point out is imagine if i have a rectangle here so this is a basic rectangle imagine if the fill was removed here now if i go here and if I go to the card at the top and I say simplify all instances. Now, as you can see, if I'm simplifying all of the instances, there's an invisible rectangle sitting here, right? Now, this rectangle does not have a fill. This rectangle does not have an auto layout. It does not have many different things. So sometimes people actually add certain things which are there for spacing and all of that stuff. And they're not really that useful for people to actually mess around. So what we can do at the top level is we can go here and we can say simplify all instances. What that's going to do is if you actually look at this instance, it's only showing me the instances that I I'm really interested in. So it's not showing me these instances like this uh, text. It's not showing me that. It's not showing me the rectangle that I had here, which was invisible pretty much. So again, it's actually simplifying the instance of the card just so I can actually see only the things that are interesting to me when I'm actually clicking on this card and making these selections. So these are the three things that I wanted to point out. I think these are very useful features but definitely let me know how you have been using them or what you think about them. So that's pretty much it. Do subscribe, do hit the bell icon, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.